Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Hi, Carol. Hi, teacher. How are you today? Good? Um, very hard. Okay. It's yes. Friday, just because it's Friday. Yes, okay. the traffic is terrible. Oh, yes, that's true. Yes, that's, yes. that's true. You know, it's terrible everywhere. Friday is it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay, thank you. Good. Thank you, Freddie. Hi, teacher. Hey, friends. That's nice. Yeah, uh, friends. <laughs> but that's uh, the soccer team? The soccer team at Jersey? Yes. No. Oh, yes. Yeah, this that's very nice. Yes, I can yeah. see the, the rooster. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> Enrique. Hey, how are you, teacher? Good, and you, Enrique? Where were you? Oh, fine. I long, just uh, have a problem. Long time no see. Oh, uh -huh. one day only. <laughs> yeah, it's like Sorry. 48 yes. hours. 48 hours. Yes. How much time? Yes, it's okay. No problem. Okay, excellent. Then we have Marilyn. How are you, Marilyn? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? All right, and you? I'm fine. Fine. Okay, great. Marilyn, I have a question. I have a I have a doubt and a curiosity. Marilyn is ah. your, your name. Yes, Mar Marilyn. Marilyn, right? So it's not yes, it's, it's yes. not it's not Marilyn. It's with an e. It's called e Marilyn. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. <laughs> good. It's a it's a variation. <laughs> it's a variation of Marilyn. Very good. Not uh, not not common. Not common. Most common. That's why. <laughs> You know, I like uh, when I see I, when I see names que no son comunes, me llama mucho la atención porque yo tengo uno super raro, and, <laughs> and that's why I always say yes. I, I write it there. See in the chat. Yes. That's Artos. my name, Luis Artos. Oh, uh -huh. Artos. Artos. Yes. Artos. Uh -huh. So then, uh, ah, yes, yes uh -huh, exactly. Estoy cuando veo otras personas así, okay, I'm not alone in this world. <laughs> ya no me siento tan solo. Yes, only. <laughs> no, yes. No, but it's nice. You know, it's nice to have it's nice to have names like that because a mí me ha ayudado Thank mucho. You. It's nice. <laughs> yes, because when when I uh, when you get your passport, a veces hay homónimos, right? That's, that's, that's what oh, right? Yes, yes. Entonces, con estos nombres uno se sale de, esa, de ese problema. Okay. Ah, porque Only, este, yes, Luis yes. Artos no hay. Luis Avellán hay varios, muchos, probably. Right? But Luis Artos sí. Avellán es. Y, y así como se escribe ese, solo es que. I guess. Yes. Uh, eso <laughs> ayuda. Uh -huh. yes, ayuda. It's like Marilyn. I never, yo nunca he visto Marilyn Tomé. O Urania, for example, is the first name I see that name. So I think it's. Ah, uh, yes, Urania. Conoce a otra Urania, Urania. <laughs> Solo la del espejo y usted. <laughs> All right. Yes, that's good. Okay, that's about names. It's, it's something good. Okay, good. Now, let's see where did we stop yesterday. Yeah, we stopped with... Um, well, let me see if we can find the material here. Yes. Then we had the quantifiers with how much and how many. Okay, I'm going to repeat this video for you to remember, and then we're going to talk about count and non-count nouns.
Hello to all of you. In this session, we will take a look at quantifiers to ask questions and give our answers. Get ready to listen and take notes if you need to. Quantifiers. How many and how much? Count nouns. Are there many restaurants? Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. Non-count nouns. Is there much crime? Yes, there's a lot. Yes, there's a little. No, there isn't much. No, there isn't any. No, there's none. How much crime is there? There's a lot of street crime. We can say that when nouns in question are count nouns, we can answer using a lot, a few, many, any, none. This will depend on how many there really are. Remember, a lot is a big amount and none is nothing. When nouns in question are non-count nouns, we can use a lot, a little, much, any, none. Remember that when we talk about non-count nouns, both questions and answers are singular. Okay. A little, much, any, none answers are singular. Okay, so this is what we were talking about, the uses of some, any, singular, plural, countable, non-countable things. Okay, and then I will show you the count and non-count nouns here. Okay, for example, we have here a count and non-count nouns. What is a count noun? Okay, count nouns can be separated into individual units and counted, right? Uh, they usually have both, a singular and a plural form. Okay, these are the count nouns. For example, when you have a, have a pen, it's a singular form, right? It's a singular form. But then you also have a scissors. Okay, and the scissors is a plural form. Okay, or you can also have a, let me see if we can find another one. Give you the, the, the graphic one. Okay, there you have a marker, one marker. And then you have two markers, three markers, four markers, okay? Then you can have different numbers uh, from one to whatever you want, okay? So you can have one marker, two markers, three markers, four markers, and so on. Then, then that's why you have your one phone, two phones, three phones, one dog, two dogs, one cat, two cats. So this is singular, plural. However, a few countable nouns only have a plural form in English, okay? Uh, for example, when we're talking about pants and trousers, okay? It's only one, one piece in a pieza, but the, it's plural, right? Pantalones. In Spanish, tiene ambas, right? Decimos pantalón y decimos pantalones. But in English, you only say pants, and trousers. It trousers is mass ma Britannico, right? Than their one pants. Jeans is more general. A pair of black jeans, here se usa se puede decir a pair. Cuando se usa a pair of, then you can say then you can say it in, in singular, right? You can say there are some jeans in my locker. Oh, there is a pair of black jeans in my locker. There are or there is. 
and or you can say the two look there are a pair of black jeans and a pair of blue jeans okay because there are two right black and blue shorts okay we all use uh, wear shorts there are shorts for men and shorts for women shoes okay it has plural and it's shoe also right but normally when we buy shoes we buy two right not only one okay uh, tennis shoes casual shoes and pajamas no problem questions comments algún comentario or something no teacher okay a veces ustedes tal vez han, eh, previamente tienen algún otro una otra idea la pueden compartir no problem how are a, a count nouns made plural and this is the spelling esta es la eh, cómo formar los plurales okay de los singulares de los nouns in singular Okay. Here. Here I have count nouns plural. Count nouns are usually made of plural by adding s or es. When the noun ends in s, h, ch, x, or z, then you have letter s, car, cars. Okay, sorry, sorry, this is uh, es. Okay, this is the one. Okay, here you have fox, foxes. Kiss, kisses. Box, boxes. CH, church, churches. Uh, Z, and then we'll see, right? Well, let's put it here. You can use buzz. No es muy común, buzz, un zumbido buses, zumbidos, right? You can use Z. Okay. Then you have, for example, the majority, the mayoría, car, cars, only the S. Okay. Churchers. Y cuando terminen en estas letras, you see here, yellow, then you're going to use yes. Okay, like kiss, s. Oh, podemos usar bus. Only one s, you can say a ah, bus. You can say two buses. And you can use this one. Quieren saber un secreto del inglés. Uh -huh. Okay. Que aquí vamos a matar dos pájaros de un tiro. Porque eso mismo que les estoy dando ahí, de cómo escribir los plurales, son exactamente las mismas reglas que van a utilizar para escribir la tercera persona de los verbos en presente. Prueben con un, díganme un verbo que termine en, en X, en S o en CH, en lo, en lo que quieran, un verbo. Vamos a poner acá. ¿Cuándo? ¿Which one? ¿Which one? Watch. Watch, ¿qué es Watch. Mm -hmm. Observar, ¿verdad? Observar, mira. Exacto. Entonces, el, el, la tercera persona. What? Watches. Watches. Y como sustantivo, ¿qué significa watch?
Como sustantivo significa reloj. Ok, watch. Y el plural de reloj. Two watches. ¿Es o no es el mismo? ¿Verdad que sí? Entonces lo mismo van a hacer con brush, cepillarse los dientes. Termina con SH, right? En la tercera persona, she brushes. Ok. Por ejemplo, acá pueden poner cepillar, brush. En la tercera persona, will be brushes. Ok. Si quieren usar, eh, let me see, fix, reparar. Con X, como vamos. Then, la tercera. He fixes. Ok. Eh, el, el sustantivo de beso es lo mismo que besar como verbo. Kiss. También se puede decir kiss. Kisses. Ok. Él besa, he kisses. His daughter. Él besa a su hija. He kisses his daughter. Ok. Entonces, este, todo lo que están viendo, todo, toda regla que ven acá de esto, de, de plural and singular and plural, is the same for the verbs. Here, if the noun ends in Y, change the Y to IES to make it plural. Family, families. Party, parties. City, cities. Candy, candies. Fly, flies. Un verbo que termine en R. En Y, carry. Cargar, right? Tercera persona, she carries. Ok. There you have the same rule. Aquí está, verbs. Carry, carries, cry, cries, fly, flies. Ok. So these are the nouns, plurals. And then you have more. Tomatoes. Some other rules. There are some uh, irregular exceptions. Roof, roofs, los techos, un cliff, un acantilado, right? Chief, chiefs, jefe, belief, creencias, and a chef, like the one who likes cooking. Okay, then you have the irregular now food, feet, person, people. Tooth, teeth. So all this is related to count nouns. And then you have the count nouns, the non count. Uh, Urania, can you please read this part in yellow? You say, here are some categories. Teacher. Yes. Can you share this document with us? Can, can you repeat? Can you share this document with us in the group? Oh, yes, of course. Sure. I will. Mm -hmm. No problem. Okay. Okay, Urania, can you read it? Okay. Here are some common cate category. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Category. Uh -huh. okay, you say categories. Category. Categories of non con nouns. Like all things in English and language in general, there okay. may be exceptions. There may be exceptions, right? Always, always. In, in English, they always have exceptions for everything. A mass, work, equipment, homework, money, transportation, clothing, luggage, jewelry, traffic, okay? Uh, for example, when we talk about homework, es la tarea, right? Eh, la actividad, but when you say, uh, esta nunca se pone en plural. Se dice homework assignments. La palabra assignment, como que es, eh, esa es la que se pone en plural, right? Esas son las exceptions. Money, eh, la palabra en sí, money, no es contable. Okay? Usted no dice un dinero, dos dineros, dos, tres dineros, okay? But what we can count 
son los bills, de billetes, or the coins. Okay, I have, uh, for example, uh, two twenty dollar uh, bills. So I have forty dollars, two twenty dollar bills. So you can count the the, the, the bills or the coins. Uh, let me see what else. Like when you say coffee, informally, informally you can go to a cafeteria and you can say, eh, I need three coffees. And the people will understand that you need three cups of coffee. But the correct form is three cups of coffee because you, you can count the containers. One cup, two cups, three cups of coffee, three cups of milk. But the coffee, coffee is liquid, so we cannot count it. Okay, and then uh, you have natural substances, air, no, no count, el ice, you cannot count it, water, fire, wood, blood, hair, hair in general, right? Uh, gold, silver, food, milk, rice, coffee, bread, sugar, meat, water, abstract concepts, right? Uh, advice, happiness. You don't say I have two happiness today. No, I, I had two happy moments. Okay. Uh, health, education, education, research. Okay, and then with these words, you can use some. You can use any. You can use a lot. Okay, you can say, for example, I have a, okay, I have some, uh, let's say, uh, some good health. Okay, or oh, I have a lot of good health. I have a, let's say, some education. Okay, uh, some do some, I need to do some research about that topic. I don't know much. I have some knowledge about computers. Okay, I have some knowledge. I have a lot of knowledge. Okay, I have a lot of knowledge about computers. If you need, I can help you. Okay, I have a lot of information. I have some information. I don't have any information about that. Okay? I don't have any time. I have a lot of time. I have, I don't have much time. Okay? So you see, this is when you can use all the, the, the uh, quantifiers. Okay? That's what it says, just the quantifiers we study in the section, right? A lot, uh, some, any, a few. A few, you're gonna use it with this, okay? And here, I have a few potatoes in the freezer. I have a few potatoes in the kitchen. I have some tomatoes. I don't have any tomatoes for the chirimol for tomorrow, okay? So then I have to go and buy, I have to buy some tomatoes, okay? Something like that. No questions? If you see, there is, uh, there is a lot of information, right? Okay. Okay. No problem. Uh, ya les, ya se lo voy a mandar al, al, al group, right? To the chat so that you can, little by little. Hey, hello, Arely. Uh, little by little, you can, uh, you can review, right, those topics. Let's see. Then we have the knowledge check. And let me see, David, can you please read the instructions here? Instructions on the spaces. No. My baby's not there. Okay, so then, uh, Joel, can you please, could you please help me read in the instructions? Instructions yes. on this basis, okay? Yep. Instructions. On the spaces provided for each sentence, write. 
Uh, I can the proper, the proper, see. Yes. Wait, let me see if we can expand it. Quantifiers, the prop. Okay. No, I can expand it. Okay, the proper quantifier. Uh, Pay attention if it is a count nouns or non count nouns. Okay, or non count noun. Okay, that's correct. Right. This is what we have to see, right? Then we're going to use much or many, okay? For this exercise, for the first part, you're gonna use much or many. So there is, then you have to pay attention. Noise, is countable or non-countable? Non-countable. Then, much or many? Non much or much? Much, okay. much. There you go. There's much noise. Hey, there's much noise, come on, close the door. There is much noise, close the window. There is much noise, turn off the TV. Okay, so this is when you have, don't you hear the noise? It's too much. Okay, and then the other one is, there are? Many restaurants. Yes. Many restaurants. There, there are, are many. many restaurants. That's correct. What about the next one? Much. 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 Much crime. There is okay. much. much. Yes, that's right. Much. The next one? Much. There's much. much. There's much. much traffic. Much. Okay, remember the, also you have the word too much, right? When you want to emphasize more, you can say that it's too much traffic. Okay, when you... When you add, let me see. Sorry, I'm playing with my mic. Okay, no problem, David. It's okay. Okay, when you have, look in the, uh, when you say to the word to, to, to. You can add too much, or you can say too many, right? And when we use too much or too many, we are referring to demasiado, right? Or demasiados. Too much noise, demasiado <coughs> ruido. Okay, too many, uh, too many people, demasiada gente, right? So then, agregando el too, then you, say, you can say here, uh, wait, too much and too many. For example, too much noise, too many restaurants. Okay, sea demasiado restaurant is near here, right? Too much crime and too much traffic. But when you say too, is to emphasize. Yeah. Yes, emphasize more. There are many many buildings. exactly apartment buildings oh there are too many too many apartment buildings right or you can say there are a few but you can change that okay so in this case uh, one thing is very very important that we read always the instructions right because in the instructions uh, it tells you what we are going to do in this case is many the next one there is here, for this exercise, choose between a few or a little. A little. Okay, a, a few or a little. Okay, a little is for non-count nouns and a few for count nouns. Yeah. So in this case, pollution is a little. A little. a little. Okay, shopping centers? A few. A few. Shopping centers, a few. Yeah. few. Mm -hmm. Are a few. Schools, a few. A, few. A, few. a few, a few. Okay, very good. Schools. Parking, Same. then Same. A, little. a little. There is a little parking. Yes. yes. Little. Okay. And there are. Much, there much. Are uh, remember, a little, a few. A little. Oh, a sorry. Little. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's okay. There, there are. Little. A little. Lights. 
That's the yeah, she... of lights. Oh, I've there seen. are a few a traffic few. lights. Come uh -huh. now. A few. Uh, traffic lights on semaphores, right? Ah, okay, okay. Traffic okay. lights. This is plural. Okay. And you can count, right? For example, there is one traffic light, there are two. Uh -huh, there are a few. Okay, mm -hmm. traffic lights. Okay, so you see, it's important to see the instruction. Okay, and in this case, you have to identify if it is count or non count. Okay, then the third one. A complete this part of using isn't any or aren't any. Singular or plural. Keep in mind count nouns and non count nouns. Okay, here. There aren't any. There aren't any. any. Taxes in this part of town. Aren't any. Uh -huh, because we're talking about the taxes count. This one? It's an Annie. Mm -hmm. so, so, sometimes, you know, it's you're, an Annie. Uh -huh, there isn't any traffic. Okay. No, cuando uno sube los chorros a la una de la mañana, no traffic. There isn't any traffic. <laughs> it's the only moment. The only moment that you can say there isn't any traffic. Then, there. There isn't any. There isn't public any transport, public transportation. Public transport. uh -huh, yeah. Transportation. Correct. After 9 p.m. Okay. Here in Salvador is similar, right? There isn't any public transportation after 9 p.m. Four. There aren't any parking there spaces. Aren't okay. Any. Uh -huh. This is plural because we're talking Space. about the spaces. Spaces. Space. That's correct. And the number five? There, there is isn't, there any, isn't any, crime. any crime. Okay. There you go. All of them correct. Okay, it's just a matter of, of paying attention to instructions and practice, okay, more practice. Now, let's see what do we have after this. A change, let's see, in this section, uh, in this session, participants will have a chance to read an article for a magazine and develop the skills in a scanning and reading for details. Here we go. <clears throat> All right. Okay, um, Carol, can you please read yes, yes. the paragraph, paragraph one? one. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. I will read just, but give me a second here. Yes. Okay, so the world in the neighborhood, in one neighborhood. Okay. Scan the article, then check the countries that are not mentioned. Okay, the countries from here that are not mentioned. Okay, now Carol, read this and this, number one. Okay. The Sydney walls are crowded. With, crowded, crowded? Crowded, yes. Crowded with India, women in colorful traditional dress. A woman on the corner is sailing China's case a new song for a Romanian but is playing in a restaurant is is it is India is, is is in India China Romania no is Astoria a neighborhood in Queens 
New York City, Astoria was was once one uh -huh. uh, mostly. mostly mostly Greek. Greek. Okay, neighborhood, but the uh, are is China first new resident from India, Pakistan, Thailand, China, and all over the United States are moving in. Okay, good. Now you see this, this town, right? This is a small neighborhood, Astoria, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is very special in, <coughs> in Queens. Okay, uh, Arely, can you read the second one? Okay. The new residents bring many tradition. This tradition blend together to make a story truly multicultural. 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 When people are surrounded by different cultures, they adopt the things that they like. Says one resident here in Astoria, it isn't surprising that an Indian woman buys Mexican tortillas from a Korean grocery, grocery store. Is one of the things that makes in the new neighborhood special. Neighborhood. Neighborhood special. Very good. Thank you, Eddie. Okay, and the number three, Joel, isn't. It isn't surprising that it Astoria is. It, it isn't surprising that. Sorry. <laughs> okay, no problem. <laughs> I thought it was, a, it was a neck or something. It's okay. Good, Joel. Go ahead. It isn't surprising that Astoria is becoming a very popular place to live. The rents are reasonable, the neighborhood is safe, and it has very good public transportation. There are inexpensive stores, many nice restaurants, and good fresh fruit and vegetable markets. And Astoria is a comfortable, comfort, uh, comfortable place to live. Apartments are usually big and roomy. As one long time resident say, why live anywhere else? Astoria has it all. Okay, very good. Excellent. Nice intonation. Very good, Well, Okay. Thank you. Now, questions about vocabulary? Or expressions? Crowded. 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 Okay. Full of people, a lot of people. Crowded. Uh, it's como uh, una multitud, right? Lleno pero de gente. Crowded. Okay. Crowded. Crowded. When you say it's crowded, it's like lleno. Eh, vamos yes. a... Uh -huh. Say them, say them walls. Sidewalks. 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 Uh, sidewalks. Aceras. Look in the picture. Aceras. This is the sidewalk. Aceras. Sidewalks. Okay. Sidewalk. Neighborhood, yes. el barrio. Neighborhood, el barrio, or el vecindario, la colonia, right? Yes. Okay. Blend. Which one? Blend, to, blend together. Oh, blend together is where the blend is when es como la licuadora. Blender. Ah. When they ah. blend together is when there is a mix, a yeah. mix de cultures, una mezcla de culturas. Yeah. Okay. Ahí sería como mezcla, mezcla de cultura, blend. Truly. Verdaderamente, realmente, right, truly. Uh -huh. Mostly way is place. Mostly? Uh -huh. Mostly la mayormente. Mayormente, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mayormente, grief. Ajá, como griego. Mostly mm. Greek. Mm. Greek, griego, o griega. Uh, teacher, apartments are usually big and roomy. Roomy, espacioso. Roomy, espacioso. 
-hmm. Roomy. Room quiere decir espacio. There is no more room. Ya no hay room es, es un cuarto, right? But when you say, sí. for example, there is, there is more room, eh, hay más espacio, ¿ok? Eh, aquí tengo espacio en la oficina. I have more room. Oh, there is no more room. Ya no hay más espacio. ¿Ok? Teacher. Yes, eh, repeat. Eh, blend together. What is? Eh, mezcla. La mezcla de la... Blend together. Se unen, se mezclan. Ah, ok. Yes. Okay. What else? What else? What is an expensive store? Inexpensive. Expensive. Cheap. Inexpensive. Cheap. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Cheap. Uh -huh. It's another form of the expensive, uh -huh. expensive, inexpensive. Inexpensive. Inexpensive, cheap. Uh, when you use cheap, cheap mm -hmm. is uh, como barato, pero porque no es muy bueno. <laughs> es más peyorativo, right? A veces, yes, sometimes uh -huh. sounds like cheap, yes. Mm -hmm. And then okay. inexpensive, yeah, it's, no es tan caro, we say, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's correct. Okay, now let's see the... Eh, the questions that we have. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, Romeo, then you can write. All right, good. Now, let's see the first question. Uh, here it says, uh, read the article, then check the things you can find in Astoria. Okay, here there are Two, four, six, eight, nine things. What can we find in Astoria? In expensive stores? Yes or no? Yes, yes. yes. Okay, good. In expensive stores. Next one. Big apartments? No. Yes. No. Oh. Yes. Okay, yes. Yes, yes because espacioso. It's roomy. Because they say roomy. roomy. Uh, roomy. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Good schools? No. 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 no good schools. Okay. Beautiful beaches? No. No. No, no right? In that area, no. Great markets? Yes. 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 Nice restaurants? Yes. 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 Many different cultures? Yes. yes. Yes, right? That's the principal thing. Interesting old buildings? No. 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 Good public transportation? Yes. 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 Okay. Two, four, six. And then they said, find six, six things. Six things. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, let's see. Okay, there you yes. go. Very good. <laughs> That's good retentive, good memory. Mm -hmm. Okay, because that requires, you know, to, to remember things. Okay, inexpensive stores, big apartments, <clears throat> great markets, nice restaurants, many different cultures, and good public transportation. Okay, okay good. Good, good. Now, I guess that we have some, some minutes. But I bet we won't be able to. 
Okay, with, with this, this is the end of unit of section three. Then uh, on Monday, we're going to start the section four. And here you have the, 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 the exam, the test, the midterm test that you have to take this weekend, right? Eh, hasta aquí deberían ir ya con la plataforma. Si tienen algunas dudas, let me know. Eh, for example, the one recommendation that I can give you is that when you listen to the, when you do this exercise, the listening exercise, play the audio and go back. Lisa and Peter are talking about vacations. Listen and check the correct answers. And you are listening and looking so at Lisa, the, where did you go for your vacation? I went to Australia. It was okay. my first time there. Did you enjoy it? Well, you can find this one. yes and no. I wanted to go surfing, but the waves were really scary. It was often very windy. The weather was pretty cloudy and the cool, weather. and it rained for two whole days. That's terrible. So you didn't surf? No. But I visited lots no, of museums and saw some movies. But what about you, Peter? How did you spend your vacation? Well, I had a lot of fun. I went to Italy. Wow. What did you do? I wanted to go surfing, but the waves were really scary. It was often very windy. The weather was pretty cloudy and cool. And okay. So when he says the weather was pretty cloudy and cool, no good. Okay. No good. Uh -huh, no good. And then it was cool and cloudy. Uh, that's what I recommend you to read, uh, to listen the first time. Se familiarizan con el vocabulario, the questions. Then la segunda vez, you can listen again. Okay, a second time. And toman notas the second time. Okay, ah, okay, this one. Here, for example, this is Australia. Okay, this one can be okay or bad. Okay, I think it's bad. And the other one is Peter visited Indonesia, India, and Italy. Then what places did he visit? Lisa and Terrible. So you didn't surf? No. But I visited lots of museums and saw some movies. But what about you, Peter? How did you spend your vacation? Well, I had a lot of fun. I went to Italy. Wow. What did you do there? I took a walking trip in the Alps. How was the weather? Both good and bad. The weather can change very quickly in the mountains. Some days were sunny and warm, perfect for walking, but other days were cold and wet. But I still loved the trip. Okay, so if you see in this case, it was two, has two options, right? Because the weather sometimes was good, sometimes was bad. Okay. Then, eh, y la tercera vez, you can listen to it, and then you can uh, just uh, confirm, double check your answers. But and remember that you can listen two, three, four times, it doesn't matter. The more you, the more you listen, better. The more you listen, the more you practice. And this one is important, as I told you, to read instructions, okay? Say, so complete the following conversations. You need to finish up uh, the WH question words according to the response given. You can use among, long, good, often, and well. Okay? How you can use how long, how often, how good, and how well. Okay? For example, in, and look at the answers. La, la clave está en la respuesta. Every day, I'm a real fitness freak. Then what is the question, the, the answer here? Every day, I'm a real fitness freak. Often. How often, correct. How often. Uh -huh. How often do you work out? How often do you exercise? Every day. I'm a real fitness freak. <laughs> Lean la respuesta y ahí le sale la, la idea para la pregunta. And the next one is complete the conversation. Choose the correct past form of the verb given in parentheses. The past tense of stay. 
then you select stayed. Three, right? Stayed. 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 No. Huh? Without stayed. Why? Yes. Okay. Por qué? Because we are using ah. did. Auxiliar did. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yes. right? The verb is in present. Exactly, right? No day. This one, no. Mm -hmm. This one. Stay. Okay? Be careful. Did, stay. Did, mm -hmm. past tense. Stay. Okay, in present. Okay, did is the past tense. Then you have to use the other verb in present. Okay? What do you do? In the, uh, uh -huh. Yes. In this case, is affirmative sentence. Then you use the verb in past I tense. Win. Had the verb in past tense. Go it no existe, right? Never. And then it's the same here. Oh, really? It's a continuation of this one. Oh, really? Yes, we have had a great time, okay? Yes. And then you have where the past tense of the verb to be? Where? Mm -hmm. Where? Yes, okay. And there you have. Using I. I, I was. Yes. Yeah. And there you go. Yes. And. Expended. Nice. Expended. Cuando tengan una duda de los verbos, busquenlo en diccionario si no tienen quien les ayude, right? Porque puede, puede uno aquí sí puede ser porque no los conozca, pero expended. Yo le digo que no, no existe ni existirá. Okay, no, spend it is incorrect. Okay, then these are, for example, the what we were practicing yesterday. Excuse me, is there a gas station near here? Yes, there is. And here, there is. There is one. any, there is one. Huh? Me. Podría ser one or some, pero dependería de si es plural o singular. Okay, Birds. this case this case is singular. This one. Mm -hmm. Okay, todos esos son los elementos que hay que analizar, right? Singular, plural. Okay, in this case there is one. How? What else is count noun? How many? Uh -huh, how many, right? Because here says choose the correct answer only, right? Yes, there are. How many hotels are there in this neighborhood? There are a little, no. No. There okay. Are a few. Okay, there you go. And then public transportation, so lo mismo que vimos in the other exercise. And no, there isn't a, this two, right? Negative. Any. I think that with this one, there would be no problem. Here, put the words in the correct order. Make the sentences or questions. Okay. Here you have dinner often to be, I watch after. I often mm -hmm. watch TV. Mm -hmm. Dime. Ocupe todas las palabras, all the words. Use all the words. Aquí Sí les recomiendo usar papel y lápiz, porque a veces se les puede escapar una palabra. Copien esto en el cuaderno así, y abajo la van poniendo y van tachando, right? I often uh -huh. eh, watch, watch TV, TV. Uh -huh. after the dinner. Ok, el after. Dinner. El after. Uh -huh. There you go, ok. Uh -huh. Good. Y acá... Vean, say, dice acá, 
uh, put the words in correct order to make sentences or questions. And here you will see the in uh, the question mark. So this one has to be a question, right? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y ocupar, no le van a agregar ni a quitar. Todas las que están aquí. Okay. Very, and this one is, is one sentence, okay? Negative, because you see here, doesn't. Okay? Recuérdense, verb, eh, sujeto, verbo, complemento. Similar to this, okay? And the last one. Well, the last one is una lectura como la que acabamos de hacer. And true and false. Okay. All right. Okay, people. Wow. No, no pudimos. Oh, no, pero yo creo que si en dos minutos no dice el, el trabalenguas. Zully, right? Okay. <laughs> uh, she says the chair is by the seashore. Ah, uh, no, that one no. Mm -hmm. no the, <laughs> if, if Peter. No. No, not today. I'm no, not. No, no, way. See, no, no. I'm not today. ready. Yes, no problem, no worry. Eh, el lunes lo vamos a practicar para agarrar ánimo, para agarrar fuerza para la semana. Este, okay. eh, procuren de llenar todos los ejercicios para que ya vayan, porque ya solo nos quedan la otra semana, este, con, les prometía que si se portaban bien esta semana, la otra semana les iba a dar solo mm -hmm. cuatro días, ¿ok? Solo cuatro días. Yes. De lunes a jueves. Ya volvemos de lunes a jueves. Eh, ya, ya con esto fue el último viernes. Ya la siguiente vamos de lunes a jueves. Y luego otra vez lunes a jueves. O sea que vamos exactamente a la mitad. Eh, en la plataforma deberían de estar justamente terminando ya el, el, este examen que acabamos de revisar. Y, en, y ya luego el lunes comenzamos las cuatro. Sección cuatro y sección cinco. O sea que en estas dos semanas nos va a quedar un poquito más de tiempo para hacer oral practice. ¿Ok? Okay. okay, teacher. Thank you very much, people. So, nice. have a very good night. Very and nice. I will see you on Monday, okay? Have a wonderful weekend. Okay. Ya, le, ya les mando el material. Okay? Thank okay. you. Good. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.